Good morning, Kids Quest friends. It's so good to see you on this Easter morning. This is the day that we have been waiting for. The moment when we get to proclaim that Good Friday really is good because Jesus has been raised from the dead. Jesus is alive on Easter Sunday morning. Now this morning in our Kids Quest Bibles or whatever Bible you have with you at home this morning, we are going to be diving into Matthew 28. Matthew is in your New Testament. It is the very first book, one of our gospel stories. Matthew chapter 28 and I'm reading from verse 1. So you can go ahead and follow along with your families this morning. The Sabbath day was now over. It was dawn on the first day of the week. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. And there was a powerful earthquake, and the angel of the Lord came down from heaven. The angel went to the tomb. He rolled back the stone, and he sat on it, and his body shone like lightning. His clothes were white as snow. The guards there were so afraid. And the angel said to the women who had come to the tomb, Don't be afraid. I know who you are looking for. You are looking for Jesus who was crucified, but he is not here. He has risen just as he said he would. Come, come and see the place where he was lying. Go quickly then and tell the disciples he has risen from the dead and he is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him. And now the angel said, I have told you the good news. And so the women hurried away from the tomb. They were afraid, but also filled with such joy. They ran to tell the disciples when suddenly Jesus met them along the way. Greetings, he said. They came to him. They took a hold of his feet and they worshiped him. And then Jesus said to them, do not be afraid, but don't stop here. Keep going and tell my friends to go to Galilee, for there they will see me. Well, friends, this morning's story is so exciting because Good Friday was really good. Jesus is truly alive, and that is why we, as his disciples, as his friends, as his followers, that is why we celebrate. We celebrate the good, good news that God loved us so much that he sent Jesus to earth to do ministry, to love people, to reveal to them who God truly is, and ultimately to take on our sins so that we might have life with Jesus forever. Friends, that's a lot to celebrate. And so as you're with your families today, I trust that you will put Jesus into your Easter Sunday and celebrate who he truly is. Well, this morning, I thought whether or not you had hunted eggs yesterday, perhaps in the sunshine, or whether you're doing that today, I thought many people around the world will still be celebrating with Easter eggs today. So I thought as you are preparing to do that with your families, I would provide just a little opportunity for you to put Jesus in your mind while you're hunting those Easter eggs. So this morning, what I have with me, I have six Easter eggs of six different colors. And all six of these Easter eggs are going to remind us about six different things about Jesus, okay? So in your Easter egg hunts today, when you come across some of these colors, you'll be able to remember something amazing about who Jesus is 
for you. Well, this morning, the first one I have is purple. Now, if you're hunting and you find a purple egg, I want you to think about royalty. Think about a king. A king is in charge, right? But a king is also someone who looks out for his people. When we think of purple on Easter, we are reminded that Jesus truly is King of Kings, Lord of Lords, ruler over all, even our lives. And we know that we can trust him because he has got absolutely every situation in his care. So when you find your purple eggs today, think of royalty and think of how Jesus is King of Kings. Now the second color I have this morning for you is orange. And I'm going to ask you to think about dirt, okay? I want you to think about soil. And I want you to think about the earth. Now, Jesus actually came to the earth to live a human life. Jesus didn't have to. He was fully God forever and ever, but chose to come and be with us and to have a human life with us as well. Now, that means that no matter what circumstance I go through or you go through, Jesus understands because he has lived a human life. The only difference is he didn't sin, right? So that is our second one for today. Orange is earth. Jesus was human and understands me. Now, the next one I have for you this morning is a pink egg. Now, how many of you know that red and white mixed together, that's actually what creates the color pink. Now, red for us for today, as we think about Jesus, red is going to be Jesus' blood. Jesus gave himself on the cross for us so that we could have new life. So Jesus' blood. And whenever we choose to believe in Jesus, he wipes the slate clean. The Bible says he makes us white as snow when he forgives us. And so Jesus' blood and making us white as snow, red plus white equals pink. Jesus in his blood, forgiving us and wiping the slate clean shows pink, his big, big love for us. So pink today, boys and girls, is going to be the great big love of Jesus for you. Now, when we look at a green Easter egg, we actually see green all over right now, don't we? The grass is green. Plants are starting to grow. People are outside now starting to do yard work. And we see green all over. And green for us for today represents life. Jesus gives us new life. He does wipe the slate clean, but then he says he gives us a kind of new life, a full life, that if we trust him and we follow him, we will have life with him. Jesus gave his life to give us life, and in Jesus, we have an awesome new way of life. So green represents life. Now, if I were to show you a blue egg this morning, friends, I want you to think of the sky. When I say blue, I think of the sky. I want to look up. I think of the clouds. I think of the wind. I think of the air. Now, whenever I think of the wind and the air or the breeze, I can't always see these things, can I? but I can feel them. I know that there is wind when I feel it blowing. I know that there's a cool breeze on me in summertime when it comes to cool me off. I know that these things exist because I can feel them and I can see things around me changing because of them. Well, in our Bible, we're told that Jesus, even though he couldn't be with us forever on the earth, 
promised to leave us the power of his Holy Spirit. Now, we as his followers can't see the Holy Spirit with our eyes, can we? But we know that his Holy Spirit is with us because we feel it. We feel it in our lives and we see the way that God is moving in us and around us by the power of his Holy Spirit. So Jesus promises to be with us through the Holy Spirit. Now, the last color I have for you this morning is this yellow. Or if you see some golden eggs outside today, I want you to think about Jesus' promise. Jesus promised that even though he can't be with us, he promises that he's going to prepare a place for us with God the Father. That means that our yellow or golden eggs represent heaven. It represents God's promise to come back for us and allow us to be with him forever and ever. Now, when you see this egg, you might think of sunshine. You might think of streets of gold. But today I want you to think about God's promise. Jesus goes to prepare a place for us because we get to be together forever with our Lord. Well, these are all amazing things to think about today. And these are promises I just want you to remember as you go through your Easter Sunday. How Jesus is King of Kings. How Jesus lived a human life and therefore he understands all the things that we go through in life. How Jesus did all of this out of his great big love for us and through the sacrifice of his own life and blood. How he wipes the slate clean and he offers us a new life through him if only we choose to follow. And friends, we also see Jesus is giving us the power of the Holy Spirit while we are still here on this earth, allowing us to go through our days with God's love and God's light and God's guidance being his people. And finally, he offers us promise of heaven, eternal life with him forever. So friends, I thank you so much for spending your Easter morning with Quest Church, and I thank you so much for choosing to worship this morning, because this is why we are here. We are here this morning to worship the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, and all the good that he has done for you and for me because he loves us. Well, I'm going to post a second video here in just a moment on our Kids Quest page. And what I'd like for you to do today is go and do some of these fun activities with your families, but we have some projects for you to choose from. Um, and we have um, just an opportunity for you to post pictures to show uh, your family um, going through Easter, keeping Jesus at the center, and celebrating his goodness in your life. Let me pray for you before you go today, my friends. Let's pray. Eternal Father, we give you thanks. You are so good, and you love us so much that you have sent your one and only sinless son, Jesus to take our place on the cross, to forgive our sins, to wipe our slates clean, and to allow us to be presented before God as his children. We thank you for your big, big love for us. And we ask that you would help us to celebrate today who you are and all that you have done. We do know that you are King of Kings. We know that you lived a human yet sinful life because you're both God and man. We know that your love for us is so very great. We know that in you we have new life. We know that you have left your power of your Holy Spirit with us to guide us as your people. 
and we know that you have promised us forever with you and that that life starts right now where we are. So we thank you for all of these wonderful gifts and we pray that we would continue to live out your people in strong faith in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, friends, join me here in a few moments and we can do some Easter fun time crafts and projects together. Be sure to post them so I see what's happening with you and so we can celebrate Easter together. Have a fantastic Sunday.